Hey, this is Ryan from the Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast, and this is the first capture and stream of Knights of the Old Republic. We've been talking about this for a long time, and I'm excited to be doing it. Um, we're going to be doing live streams of this on Twitch and things like this, but for the first like tutorial mission, I figured it'd be a good idea just to kind of have a have a quick bonus thing that we could kind of anyone who's interested could kind of check out. So, we're kind of working out the kinks. Like I said, it's a bonus. Um, doing a custom character. I've already kind of picked out what I want my character to be. Um, she's a badass. You should know this. Started with the scout, but I'm going to be doing a dexterity build. Because um, I want to be able to be good with a lightsaber when the time comes. Should be good. Skills, great. I want to be good with stealth and security because I want to be able to hack and sneak past the bad guys. Persuade. Seems like a good one. Oh no, I didn't spend all my skills. There we go. go feats cool do that because I want to be doing melee I'm gonna be using swords mostly all right so I'll be honest with you I have a name picked out I like making up Star Wars names but it's Kari Tipyep with two eyes like Kashyyyk uh, in honor <laughs> Of the fried tippyip they'll be serving at Galaxy's Edge, as we spoke about last week on the podcast. Fire is under attack. Hurry up. Sorry, we had a little bit time. of a blip there. But... So, the Endar Spire. Your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo. Gotta say, for the year it came out, the presentation is pretty good. Um, some of the controls, uh, you know, are a little tough. You can't move the camera vertically, which is funny. Um, but, you know, it's interesting. Um, so funny. I, I could have looked out for myself there, but whenever I'm in video games, I have trouble playing, like, the meme character. And that's not because I think I'm such a person of virtue. It's because I'm so codependent that I don't want the characters in the game to dislike me. So I have trouble <laughs> doing the immoral thing um but yeah if you've if you've played any of the recent bioware rpgs especially the dragon age games i'm playing on mouse and keyboard and the the control scheme is almost identical so you know like wow they really stuck to it and if it ain't broke don't fix it you know? all right let's go help bestilla i'm not going to the escape pod Great. Okay. So, the trash is now in my room is in lockdown, but don't worry. All right, so we know how to unlock the door. It'll be okay. Got to switch to Trask. Now that the door is open, you better take Great. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Ooh, exposition, exposition. Pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electric. Let the droid beep. Beep up boop. Alright. So, we got... so what's interesting is, uh, as many of you probably know who have followed Star Wars for the last 16 years, um, that this takes place about 4,000 years before the timeline of Star Wars that we know. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. It gives them free range to kind of do whatever they want. Which 
it's interesting. Most of the combat, it's it's not really real time. Like I'm not, I'm choosing what my character is going to do, but uh, I don't actually do the movements like in a classic kind of action game, like a Devil May Cry or something like that. But um, what's interesting is that for <laughs> and we'll get really nerdy, but why why not? You know, we're sitting here on a Star Wars stream of a of a 16 year old video game. Um, what's interesting is that it's basically a digitized version of like the classic Dungeons and Dragons uh, battle system, where it's all based on on uh, or attributes and statistics, um, which is actually kind of cool. I li I like that kind of old school RPG kind of stuff. Doing some sparring. Only answer. Kind of a little passive aggressive though. That told me that. Always search. Always search for loot, everybody. Great. So, I got some more stuff. Gonna do a long sword. Get some extra, and then I can do double handed. Great. Can do a quick save. Override that. Ryan, here we go. Flip there. Working on getting the frame rate up uh, on my machine, it's showing at 60, but I think it's probably coming up for 30 in the stream, which. Again, a little bit of tech talk for everybody. So we got... They're not stormtroopers, we know this, because it's so long before. I think it's cool that uh, Bioware's kind of been perfecting this this battle system for the last two decades, you know? I mean, like like I said, this is... Quartz pile. This is very much kind of like a proto version of the Dragon Age stuff and all the kind of RPGs they did before they got into the shooter stuff, like Mass Effect and uh, now Anthem. It's a dark Jedi. I think I'm gonna it's need a med pack. Oh, we got a Sith and a Jedi. I cannot, I, I gotta tell you, I cannot wait until I get my hands on a lightsaber in this game. You know what? I'm already having more fun with this than I have before my three or four false starts, and you know what? It's because. Because of you guys. Damn, we could have used her help. Oh, I need a med pack bad. Okay. No one tells me anything. I'm about to die. No one says a thing. Not right. So it's sad to have lost that Jedi down there. Bridge, or should we just make sure I can't go anywhere else? Great. Let's go to the bridge. Ooh, bad guys. See, like, so it's it's using my stats. My stats aren't super high with my melee yet, so I'm missing a ton. But it's a good thing that I have a melee character and a ranged character with Trask. And it's, <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's all premeditated. It's no accident. Uh, the same my first rodeo. So yeah, like right now, I can't. I literally can't move the camera up and down. Um, this game, I believe, was originally uh, released on the Xbox, and then they made a PC port of it, which is what I'm playing. Um, but it's it's interesting, because Bioware, at this point, had made so many PC games. I'm basically giving a Bioware uh, tutorial. <laughs> a, a brief history of Bioware auto-level up. Who do they think they're dealing with here? Get that up. Demolitions, just because that sounds fun. Repair up. Let's do more awareness. So I can see things. 
great. No attack, so that's reducing my attack penalty for wielding double-handed, which is what I am doing. It's weird to see like actual like swords in Star Wars. You don't see that very much. Um, Something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. Oh, geez. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pod. According Come to on. the rule, I mean, this is the Old Republic, so this may have been before the Rule of Two, I believe. Because uh, we've already seen two Sith, and there's been no indication that those are the only two Sith. So, uh, this may be before the rule of two. I believe in the timeline that checks out before uh, the Sith kind of infighting caused them to uh, break apart and then create the rule of two so that that would not happen again. This is Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. So I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corner. Use your stealth skill to sneak past it. Okay. I feel like I should have checked out a door back there. Let me just do a quick save. Because you never can be too careful. Alright, so, stealth skill. I literally turn invisible, and I walk very slowly. I don't know how long this will last, so it's possible I may have to engage. Except, ooh! Thank God for scripted events, am I right? That seems like it was, uh... Someone I've fought before, but, you know, they need to tutorialize the stealth skill somehow by saying that they're too powerful to fight. Oh. Now we're engaging. I cannot help but press the button a million times. Even though it told me specifically I don't have to do that. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security system against the Sith. Let's get some parts, see if I can find some parts. Yes. I had a feeling, I had a feeling they may provide. So I'm going to use the combat droid, because that sounds... Four repair parts in each trying control mode. So let's do that. Great, so the droid's good to go, and then we'll use both. So let's use our computer spikes. I'm not completely understanding this system, but... Alright, great. Experience points gained, so I must have done something right. Some credits. Some credits that I could spend at Galaxy's Edge. Ooh. New weapon. That's great. Let's check out what that does for me. Let's put the vibroblade over here. So that's a much. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I know. How do I know I can trust him? Like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. I think it's so funny before this character was saying, uh click on the click on the bottom to activate your journal, and I think that's so funny that in the world of the game that they say click, left click. 
don't want to use the last escape pod. Let's talk Basilisk to this. escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Come on, there'll be time for questions later. Alright, let's use it. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a night. So, uh, I couldn't record the cutscene, but there was a fight between a woman who we don't yet yet know, and then I woke up here. It was a vision. Kyrie tip you. Let's investigate this vision. Took a serious blow to the head. I'm probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about. I think we're kind of getting into the meat of the game so this this uh recording will kind of wrap up soon once we kind of get done with all of the intro stuff and then we'll start live streaming um on a regular schedule for the actual meat of the game which we'll also record and put up let's let's find out how they explain the Sith. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet wide quarantine. But I've been in more spots. I saw on your service wow. records that you this guy's seen some stuff. Of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're striking. Perhaps his father will no fight alongside us in the Clone Wars. The Sith blockade to help his father. <laughs> Sorry, no, his great 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 grandchildren. Anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. I love she that. Ooh, the Jedi. Now we're talking about Jedi. Now I'm liking this. Malik's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole. Republic. Darth Revan. I have a feeling that may be an important name for us to know. Spoiler alert. System. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic War. I gotta say, I I know that people love that this kind of captured the essence of Star Wars so well, but I gotta say that I find a. Their, their Star Wars name conventions, you know, what they name planets and characters, a little lacking. I think, uh, I think, uh, Kari Tipyip, I think I've proven that I could have done a better job than 2002 Bioware. Of course I choke. Alright, let's get to the of this. Around, there are reports of a couple of escape pods Ooh, crashing down some, into the, the classic theme. Place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. You don't want to go there unprepared. For real, I mean, I can make fun of, you know, like, how dated the game is. And I actually think it looks pretty good. But, uh, you know, I wish that I had gotten to play this at the time. Because I, I, I'm i sure, I, as I know from reading old reviews and stuff, people were freaking out. What an experience to have when, you know, Star Wars games haven't classically been very good. Um, so let's go. Um, so, you know, I mean, obviously we all have uh, soft spots for the Super Star Wars games, which are great, and I used to play every Saturday, but to have a giant RPG like this be so good, I mean, people must have been freaking out. I think that's a beautiful thing. As you may have heard, I love Star Wars. If we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. All right. Karth. See, like, I, I feel like that could have been a stronger name, don't you think? Come on. Maybe I'll write a, I'll tweet at Bioware criticizing their naming from 2001. Alright, so we're getting to the meat of the game here. Um, right, you setting in the Taurus. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm finding myself very engaged. I'm really excited to play through this game. I'm excited to kind of have like standing appointments to, to spend a few hours every week kind of playing it and work my way through it. Oh my goodness, in cold blood. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. I cannot get behind this. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens. Someone claiming to be a Sith using a gun to... Not a, he's not even using a more civilized weapon for a civil, or a civilized weapon for, elegant weapon for a civilized time. Jeez, sorry, I'm trying to also fight while doing this. Hopefully I'll make some friends by, uh, by aiding here. Yalamo 
Wow, that was very long. <laughs> that was very long alien dialect for that line. I'm a nice person. I'm a nice person. Glad I can help. Yeah, you know, but I'm not above throwing the Sith off the track, you know? Let's search, see if I can find anything good. Blaster rifle. Gotta give that. Maybe give that to Trask if we are reunited. Cars blaster. Let's see if the blaster rifle does that add anything to him. So he's double wielding blasters. So I'm gonna keep him doing that because I don't. I don't think I could get as much damage. Let's let's see. No, it seems like he's kind of maxed out in terms of what he can use. Let me just make sure that I have... Let's give me a combat suit, because that'll increase my defenses. Great. Do a quick save. Overrun. That old game there for an hour and a half is from a long, long time ago. Oh, security door. Let's see if I can get through. On it. Done. Let's talk to Dia. Who are you? What are you doing in here? I can understand how she'd be startled that I just walked home. into her home. No. Investigating the no area. Excuse. I want to be helpful. I'm building a very nice character with curious, a dex build. <laughs> but at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. See, like Holden, they couldn't. Come on. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Hopefully we can seek some justice here. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Fair. Let's see if my persuasion... I put some points into that. Let's see. No, I don't think so. <sighs> I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Just Rolled the dice and I came up short. So Good. let's leave this I nice lady alone. Like in my home. Seems like she's had enough trouble. I wonder if I don't want to steal from her. Uh, that might have bad ramifications. But the one guy. It's one of the, one of those Java dudes. Not a hut, but like the guy, the Jabba's that helps the Jabba's palace. It's the green version. Man, the alien dialects really run long for the, the subtitles. So we're gonna be nice, of course. We want to help the people on Taurus. All right, so energy seal. That sounds like a. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Huh, nice explanation. I like that. Where did the tech come from? So we don't know. Alright, so we got kind of <laughs> warring energy shields going on between the Republic and the Sith. Alright, let's check out. I love merchants. combat suit. Am I working with 157 credits? It might not be time really to... I don't want to invest too much in gear uh, just because I don't know what I'm going to kind of get. Love hearing the droids. Alright, so we're getting pretty deep in. I think this is a good place to stop. We're, we're starting the game off proper. Get, get
gathering some missions and meeting some people. Um, so yeah, this this is Kari Tipiup, and this is our hero for this journey. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, and like I said, we'll be promoting that we'll be doing um, <clears throat> live streams of this going forward on the pod. So thanks for joining. Uh, this was a bonus edition of the uh, droids you're looking for a Star Wars podcast streams. KOTOR. See you next time.